Brace yourselves for more of the white stuff. Good evening. This is CTV News. I'm Denise Douglas. And I'm Rochelle Metzger. The weather tops our news tonight. The region is preparing for a major winter storm that's expected to bring a heavy mix of snow, sleet and rain. Governor Martin O'Malley had a press conference earlier today to talk about the state's preparation efforts. Officials expect extra stress on the power grid due to the storm and urge residents to curb energy use where possible. The governor says state highway crews have already pre-treated roads and are starting to put another layer of salt down. He says trucks and plows as well as utility crews are all on standby for when the first flakes fall. We have salt at 100 percent capacity. We have some 2,700 different pieces of uh, equipment between SHA and private contractors. Uh, and we also have uh, been on in touch with all of our utility companies, Pepco, BGE, and they have been bringing in crews and having crews at the ready for this big event. In this situation here, we just went through a pretty good ice storm. This is going to be a wet snow. So that wet snow is going to accumulate on branches and trees. And so uh, we're going to see some power outages. We're also going to see some wind gusts in the area of um, 30 to 35 miles an hour. You need to make sure you have enough supplies, food, water, medicine, to be on your own for 72 hours. And pay attention to your channel, as well as make sure you go to the city website, et cetera, and continue to get information. You can visit your local government website or mema.maryland.gov for the most up-to-date storm-related information. And we're already hearing about school closures for tomorrow. Prince George's and Montgomery County public school systems both close tomorrow, as well as the University of Maryland College Park campus. Well, as more snow is expected, road crews are on standby and ready to go. In fact, they've been getting ready since yesterday. AAA Mid-Atlantic is putting out the word, stay home. Byron Scott has more. We will be bringing in uh, our crews beginning at 7 o'clock tonight. We will be out there plowing, monitoring, and treating. This is going to be the worst snowstorm we've seen since 2011. You could call this the quiet before the storm. Traffic moving smoothly on I-495 and workers prepping for a long night of salting and plowing roads as the white stuff falls. Uh, and at that time, we'll have uh, 200, approximately 250 vehicles on the roads out there to monitor, treat, and plow the roadways. State Highway Authority workers are gearing up too. They have 17,000 miles of major roads to work with, and they have identified several areas across the state, like this one in College Park, the park and ride, for truckers to pull over and wait out the storm. So we advise people to stay home, to wait until the storm passes over. John Townsend of AAA says if you have to go out, try using an SUV or four-wheel drive vehicle, and make sure you have a full tank of gas and plenty of extra warm clothing. And if you get stranded mm -hmm. or stuck in the snow and it's at night and you don't know where you are or don't know the neighborhood, we advise you not to venture off and try to wander to a place, the safest place to be is in your car. Just make sure, says Townsend, that your vehicle's tailpipe isn't blocked by snow. It can allow deadly carbon monoxide to build up in your car. Already, Virginia and Maryland have declared states of emergency. And while the amount of snow you get will depend on where you live, those who take care of the roads day in and day out say heed the warnings. In Landover, Byron Scott, CTV News. Byron looks pretty cold out there. Well, the Prince George's Office of Emergency Management wants all residents to know that warming centers will be open during normal hours, and they are Harmony Hall Regional Center and Suitland, Kentland, Deerfield Run, Bowie, and Seat Pleasant Community Centers. Well, Rochelle, as the area braces for the storm, people are making sure they have enough food and other necessities. Many were stocking up at Shoppers Food Warehouse in Largo today. Forecasters are predicting that flakes will begin between 8 and 10 this evening. Jessica Robinson had several baskets full of food and told us she is making sure there is plenty for her family in case they get snowed in. I got some hot pockets, some um, sandwiches, some hot cocoa, some chips, chip cookies, a little bit of everything. Valentine candy, in case they don't go to school. 
Because tomorrow is the last day for school. Don't have school Friday. Do a little something in the house. It's coming. It's, it's going to be here. So you just got to do the best you can. What about making sure you have enough to eat and all the other necessities? Well, I pretty much keep this at the house all the time. So there's a little couple of things I need to get. Forecasters expect anywhere from three to five inches tonight and more on Thursday. Well, if you've been having a hard time finding salt for the snowstorm, you're not alone. We stopped by Lowe's on Campus Way in Upper Marlboro today to ask customers what they're doing to prepare for the snow. Many of them say they've searched everywhere for salt without much luck. Well, I figured they'd be out anyway. They usually out with a big storm getting ready to come in this area. Uh, so I just keep on trying to try the bigger stores, you know, like Giant and Home Depot. Uh, go down 301, and they might have it down there. Yeah, it has been kind of hard because a lot of people tend to buy them out. You know, they tend to buy it out because they know the snowstorms is going. A lot of times you got to go a little further out to get it. Yeah. I went to uh, several places, uh, Target and Walmart and um, another Home Depot down the road, and this is the fourth place I've gone for salt. I really need salt. My driveway is pretty, pretty steep. Lowe's in Upper Marlboro says it's been out of salt for the last two weeks, so may I suggest kitty litter. Mm, sounds like a good idea to me. Here is yet another weather story for you. The expected winter wonderland has one local hospital looking for volunteers. Latifa Majid explains from Lanham. Well, Denise, with the Washington region under a winter storm warning, the Doctors Community Hospital is looking for volunteers that have a vehicle with a four-wheel drive to help transport employees to and from the hospital just in case the weather gets bad. With forecasters calling for a 100% chance of inclement weather, management says they want all of their employees to be able to get to work safely. Anytime we have inclement weather, um, it's always important for us to be able to get all of our staff in. And we're open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, so our business never stops. And our expectation is that our, is that our staff will show up, and they're all important and vital. And so with that expectation, sometimes our folks are going to need help getting in, and we want to make sure that they're safe getting in as well. So that's where the, uh, the public has really been helpful over the years to volunteer if they have four-wheel drive uh, vehicles to help transport patients, not patients, but our, our staff in and out of the, uh, of the building for their shift. So if you have a vehicle like this, you may want to call 301-552-8888 to find out how you can help out when the storm hits. Thank you, Latifa, for that story. Anyone interested in volunteering will receive reimbursements for gas and mileage, as well as a meal in the cafeteria. Meantime, if you plan on riding Metro bus, know that the late night bus service will be canceled after one in the morning. And Metro access service for riders who are disabled will be suspended tomorrow due to the inclement weather forecast. You are watching CTV News. I'm Denise Douglas. And I'm Michelle Metzger.